We've got heat coming back, and but for this morning, the air quality. Yeah, the air quality is going to be, you know, uh, something that we're, we're watching hour by hour. And I am seeing something hopeful. I want to show you the map so you can see what I'm talking about here. Your eyes will drift toward Antioch and the Delta because you see that yellow. Well, what's happening there is that we have some decent winds that are stirring things up reducing the concentration of smoke particles. So the effect of that is that the air quality actually improves. So if that notch can make inroads further inland to Sacramento, Elk Grove, maybe Stockton as well, uh, we will be looking at some air quality as long as the wind direction is the same and the wind speeds increase, which I do expect later on today. However, at the moment, we're seeing a lot of red, which is unhealthy air for the valley and a good portion of the Sierra as well. It's going to be hot again, folks. We're going to be looking at temperatures well above our averages, and that trend will continue for the the rest of this week. In fact, we're going to be getting hotter this weekend. 50s uh, where the Delta breeze is really occurring. We're seeing some 60s down low and some 70s as well. 30s and 40s up high. So in the Gilmore backyard and elsewhere, it's, uh, some places that will get the Delta breeze. This is what we're looking at later on today. We're going from the 60s to the 80s by about noon, and then we're going to hit highs in the low 90s for that location. If you don't get the Delta breeze, you will remain uh, in the poor air, uh, air quality category as well as hotter temperatures in the upper 90s. So there is a bit of uh, temperature differences uh, all related to uh, the wind we're going to see later on today. Remember our average on this last day of August should be 90 degrees. So when we're hitting highs in the mid to upper 90s, that certainly is going to be in that above average but below record uh, temperature range. But we're going to be getting really close to the records by the time we get to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday of next week. Smoky skies remain because Number one, we still have ongoing fires. They're not out. Number two, it's just really difficult unless you get a very big pattern change for smoke and haze to leave the area entirely. So that's just unfortunately the case. At least we don't see any new big red flag warning conditions. Most of that is far northern California or out of state. So what's the wind situation today? And this is what gives me hope, folks, for places that are starting to see some improvement in air quality. Later on today, you see that southwest wind in Sacramento and the northwest wind in Stockton? That's your delta breeze. And as long as that wind speed increases, we should see some improvement in air quality. However, for locations very close to where the fires are, you know what's going to happen. You're going to see that pluming of smoke. And in some some cases, just depending on where you are, uh, you may see uh, a decrease in air quality if you're directly in line of that plume of smoke. The problem is this. We are just not done with the heat mid to upper 90s today as a range. Uh, that's going to be the case for the rest of this week. And look at Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We're going to be hitting highs close to 100 or above for maybe four days in a row. That's going to be tough for the firefight, bad for air quality, and just late season heat that we're just not all excited about.